All right, everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we have a unboxing video with a bunch of steelbooks. So we have a total of six steelbooks. We have this cool one, which is Maleficent, and it's a dual pack steelbook. Very cool. It does say 4K because that's the steelbook that they got. Uh, this must be an exclusive 4K, but I'm guaranteeing you this does not have a 4K inside because of the price. These were like 15 bucks each. Let's see if this ever focuses. We have Creed 2, a different Spider-Man, which now kind of completes my collection for Spider-Man Far From Home on Steelbook. I have a bunch of different ones. Terminator and It Chapter 2. So let's start with It Chapter 2. I bought these from Amazon Mexico. They got delivered really quick. And... They didn't seem to be any damage, so that's pretty cool. They did come in a box. I bought some other stuff, so I didn't open the box. I just pulled these out. These won't have digital codes either. And usually it's just a plain Blu-ray and DVD. I'm buying them just because of the steelbook and the price is cheap enough with the current uh, exchange rate. So let's, I hate, I completely hate this gooey nastiness. Look at that. Oh, it's like a booger. So the J card is in Spanish. A epic conclusion for one of the biggest histories in horror history of cinema. Something like that. My translation skills suck. All right. It Chapter 2. It's a matte finish. Creepy as heck, which I love it. My sister did buy me the, the DVD with the nice slip covers. Oh, those are nice. No spine slash, think it. Look at that. And the back one, so let's see this because, bam, look at that. So that's them as kids, that's them as adults. <clears throat> now, if this was a metal pack, once you opened it, that would have lined up perfectly without the title in the middle. All right, let's see what's in the inside. We have the movie. Oh, and this is actually in Spanish. I'm surprised. Usually they don't bring them in Spanish. DVD. And that's the inside. You got the creepy eyes. And there's me in the background, but it's just a glare. It's extremely sunny today. All right, so let's put these back in. And like always, you can support the channel by subscribing, by looking into the descriptions. I do have a Patreon that you can support the channel with as little as $1 a month. But hey, please subscribe. Help me get to that 1,000 milestone, 1,000 subscribers. Next one is going to be Terminator Dark Faith. So, Fate, not Faith, Faith. All right, I'm cutting over the J card because I don't care about the J cards. All right, so this is another one. So this is this has a glossy finish, and I didn't watch this movie in theaters, so this is going to be a blind buy. But I mean, it's Terminator. I'm gonna watch it eventually. More of that gooey stuff. All right, so let's see what's inside. Uh, the gooey residue is still there, <clears throat> which I completely dislike. Right, let me set this to the side. Terminator Dark Fate. We have the title, the spine. Oh, let me focus that a little bit better. All right, no damage, very good. Quality is pretty good on this one. And then we have this terminator with like the liquid metal thing going from one to the other. That's a nice steel book. I, I like it. It feels nice. The, the glossiness, it looks good. There are some imperfections. Like if this was a car, I, yeah, I would not buy this car, but it's a steel book, so it's okay. 
Uh, inside it's just a liquid metal looking thing. And this is again in Spanish. Dark faith means destino oculto. Sometimes the translations are not literal translations. They just do different. Like the Ford versus Ferrari. It's different on every country, I think. All right. Let's try and pull this one up. What have I done? There you go. All right. The discs are just plain. Inside is just plain. Yeah, they, they give you a little bit of artwork, but not that much. Outside, that's what I, you know, that's what I came for. Pretty good. I like it. All right. Not a bad decision, in my opinion. All right. Let's go with Spider-Man Far From Home. Where's my handy dandy knife? All right. Incluye Blu-ray. So that means include Blu-ray. Like, you're buying just the case? Like, do they ever sell just the case without the Blu-ray? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they, they do sell it. I think some games do sell the steelbook without the game inside. Yeah, because they sell it separately. Some Nintendo games I've seen. Oh, so this is a different J card. This is more like a C card. Covers this part and this part. Usually they just cover one part. This. All right, so let's get to it. Oh, not that much gooey stuff. And there goes a card. I was going to show the card, but it doesn't want to come up. All right, shy card. Spider-Man Far From Home. We have the spine there, if it ever focuses. All right, the glare. All right, that's the back. Oh, that's a cool logo. I think that's the logo on the on the four-pack steelbook that I have. So let's look at this fully open. The material and the paint job feels amazing. This is like a metallic foil looking, which if you ever collected cards growing up, that's like the foil effect. The metal, I don't know, but you always wanted those cards. Those were it. Those were the cards. All right, look at that. The glossiness is really good. And again, some of these have like a number down here, which I don't know. If you know what this means, please let me know. I'll try to investigate what this means, like this part right here. All right, inside. Again, the discs are in Spanish. That's pretty cool. I, I own this movie like four times, so it doesn't matter. And some web art in the inside but this is cool the dvd has a different artwork from the blu-ray hey monkey all right so that's pretty cool all right what is next people we have creed rocky ball boss prodigy not the one that you know tried to beat him up and then got beat up this this guy is cool he actually likes rocky the champ of champs so we have creed 2 good movie good actor both of them actually good actors the disc is really dark with a nice glossy so you see black <coughs> You see a nice picture of Creed. Look at that. Ah, uh, off-centered title. Why? Why would they do that? I don't know. And then we have Rocky. We have Balboa. We have the champ. Yeah, no damage. Look at that. Am I getting lucky today or what? Like no damage whatsoever on any of these. Usually there's like some damage. I shouldn't say anything because. I still have two more to go. So let's open this. Oh, let's first, let's open this. Oh yeah, look at that. Piece of the black, it's kind of hard for focus. There you go. That's really cool. That's a nice glossy black steelbook. There's a lot of black steelbooks out there. Creed 2, no artwork on the Blu-ray or the DVD. And then we have some cool artwork in the inside. That's cool. 
So this means defending the legacy. So that's the title. I don't know why they had to do two titles. I mean, Creed 2, we know what it is. All right. That's pretty cool. Now, last but not least, we have the dual pack. Very curious about this one. Dual pack of Maleficent. In Spanish, it's called Malefica. Hey, some Spanish class today. Maléfica and Maléfica Dueña del Mal, which is Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. So that's that's not a literal uh, translation, by the way. Dueña means owner, owner of evil. So they couldn't put mistress, I guess. Mistress has a different, uh, it has the, the regular mistress, you know, like she's the mistress of this dude. I don't know if there's a mistress type evil translation in Spanish. Sometimes that's why they, they change the, the titles. So let's see what they have on the J card. So the region is all region on the DVDs. It's gonna be region A on the Blu-rays. I think all of these are region A. Uh, so they have some extra stuff. All right, that's cool. Obviously this is the Disney stuff. Kind of weird feeling on the this giant J card. I already hear some Rallin in here. So. Oh, oh man. Oh, the DVD is used. The Blu-ray is just regular blue Disney. Oh, the DVD is all blue somewhere. All right, so let's open this puppy up. That's a cool shot. Look at that. We got Maleficent there. We have her. Some fairy animals, creatures, I mean. And there's the tree. You can see the cats on the back. Very nice. The quality is also really good on this one. No damage. Wow, I'm so surprised. Yeah, that's pretty good. No damage. Thank you, Amazon. All right, let's put the DVD there. All right, don't fall. Now, Mistress of Evil. This one feels kind of heavy. And on this one, you see, this one has nothing. It's just her. No title. This one has a title, and it says Angelina Jolie. Oh, there is some uh, V-Boss in here. See, you could probably see it right there. Just on Maleficent. That's a nice touch. It gives it a little bit more, uh, you know, more higher grade steelbook. Nice. And like I said, it says Ultra HD. The other one didn't bring it. So it has a title there. It didn't bring even the Disney rewards or anything like that. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like the steelbook. This is really cool. I haven't seen the movie. I just, just collected the Disney movies. I should almost be there. All right, so we have another loose DVD here. Blu-ray is good. Again, regular blue Disney. Regular white Blu-ray, I mean DVD. Look at that. That's a cool looking steelbook. And you can see the debossing right there. That's from up from Bam. Bam. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. I, I did like this one. Good job. Bro. All right, guys, that is it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please think about subscribing. Help me reach that 1000 subscribers. And if you want to support the channel, you could also do a Patreon. You could support it with as little as one dollar a month one dollar you could get some cool stuff in there too all right that is it guys catch you on the next one bye bye